Hello. Well, welcome to playing with geometry series in SolidWorks. I hope you like it and I hope you find it enjoyable. Well, uh, uh, as uh, as a as a CAD software, as advanced CAD software, SolidWorks has uh, many handy tools that you can use with your complex forms, with solid features or with surface features. I hope you like them and uh, I want to share uh, some of them and. Uh, if I have time, if I have much more time, I would like to share all of them, uh, all of uh, the handy tools with SolidWorks has. Uh, I'm now currently using SolidWorks 2011 version, and uh, I'm sure that in 12, 2012 version has uh, many other new features. Um, so, let's begin. Now in this video, um, now in in the top uh, in the top working plane uh, at the I put I made a uh, curve here. It's, it's a nonlinear form, and uh, and in the front plane I put a I put another profile, uh, which is just a curve. It's, a, it's in a spline. It's uh, it's, a, it's one part of a circle. Anyway, it's a part of a circle. Now the point in here is. Uh, uh, you know, uh, you might have just recognize it. If your sketch does not have an uh, external uh, external constraint, so uh, whenever you select your sketch on the left part, you know as you see it here, um, uh, there appears a gadget which you can scale your sketch or uh, move it alongside, uh, move it along the working plane. So it's sometimes it's pretty much useful and uh, you save too much time with that so it's pretty much nice and the other thing is as you see there appears a ruler as I'm moving your uh, profile sketch now uh, the strange thing and nice thing about this feature is for example you are now moving it as you see my cursor is um, uh, away from the ruler so there's no snapping but if you Take your uh, cursor on the ruler. There appears there appear two arrows there, so it snaps the ruler. So you can be much more precise when moving your sketch. As you see, now I want I don't want to make it too far from the other sketch. Here we go. Let me see. It might it may be fine. Okay. So let's extrude these sketches. surface extrude feature I used and again I use surface extrude oh, let me see it this way mm -hmm. it's okay okay so we have now we have two surfaces here as you see now I want to use boundary surface feature you know just as direction one I select this edge of the surface and again in direction 2 is direction 2 I select the other binding edge the border so here you see uh, we have our surface here but as you see uh, there are two gadgets those are all handy stuff it comes with SolidWorks and, uh, and CAD programs and CAD software there are many other uh, useful handy gadgets like that uh, but SolidWorks is one of the best, indeed, uh, as as being the one which has a pretty much uh, user-friendly interface. Anyway, let's come to our subject. Here you see the, uh, this gadget shows none. Those are the options that you might uh, apply to this edge. Now I want to use tangency. Tangency to this face, and here we go. We can go tangent continuity as well here. So, and I can change it to curvature. You know how this surface reacts. So you can see it there. I can increase or decrease the mesh density here. But uh, as long as you increase the mesh density, uh, you you spend you take uh, much resource from your RAM. So. Uh, Sometimes you might be very careful uh, when increasing your mesh density in complex forms. Anyway, here we have um, 
surface here we are surface here now another thing with these surfaces is okay uh, we we define a curvature continuity here and uh, again we define curvature continuity here as well but we can increase the tension here as you see uh, the the surface we created uh, started to become much denser at this corner no as you see, let's let's see it in this way in this angle you might uh, see it in a much better view you can see that there becomes a tension at this corner at the, that it's it's like an uh, I forgot the word for it but it's denser 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 I'm sure uh, you understand what I mean this corner that become um, a sharper corner at the surface as you see okay let's take it so we have a perfect curvature continuity as you see here we can check it out with zebra stripes with selecting zebra stripes um, what happened I don't understand check it again huh. well there's an issue with the zebra stripes uh, in order to have uh, in order to observe nice curvature continuity with this reflection with these zebra stripes I strongly suggest you uh, to increase this slider to the maximum level so you'll see the fluent lines uh, is uh, rolling around the smooth nice surface you see uh, you see that there's no uh, angle broken here because there's a perfect curvature continuity there here we go now another issue with that uh, with the surface uh, modeling feature and SOLIDWORKS is you can control this um, surface uh, because I mean it does not mean that uh, you have to use these borders which are created at the end of these uh, this surface this newly created surface because what I'm trying to say is you can use these handles as you see you can slide along the edge and you can uh, you can play with them pretty much easily because sometimes you may need to create a gap in order to combine um, this surface with another one uh, along with these uh, profile edges here uh, in complex forms you may need to uh, use these skets free uh, these endpoints uh, and slide along the edge um, because it becomes a uh, I mean it happens to be a pretty much handy tool and solid works you have these tools in uh, cut here too as well uh, but it's not that much easy sometimes but uh, in SOLIDWORKS this pink uh, great pink dot is easy to uh, control easy to handle so it's pretty much nice feature because if you didn't have this feature here uh, you may need to if you uh, you may need to cut these um, gaps uh, manually uh, as a next step for example if you if you didn't have this feature and um, let me complete this one as well as you see uh, there are two gaps here but if you didn't use that let me show you what will happen because these handy tools make you save a considerable amount of time when making complex models there we go let's use this part okay I will use this front plane here and let me cut it for example this let's trim the surface that we nearly created I just want to keep this one because keep selection is selected so I selected my surface that I wanted to keep okay here we go so uh, well indeed it's apparent that uh, we have exact um, and precise uh, borders here uh, but you can make it uh, the same 
uh, you can have similar uh, solutions with the previous method as I told you because you know as you see there's a second feature if you don't uh, if you don't sli slide these uh, endpoints alongside these edge if you need it if you need them so you may need to cut them uh, as a second step by using surface trim tool but this makes another feature here in the feature tree and uh, it means that uh, you use more resource uh, when modeling when making your model so uh, in order to be efficient uh, regarding your computer resources like ram and cpu usage so it's much better to use your handy features uh, which compact with solidworks i hope you like it you find it useful anyway see you uh, with the next video